Hello everyone! Welcome to our English learning journey with movies. Let's explore and improve our English together. Go through. Wait, does he eat chalk? <laughs> Just because I don't want her to go through what I went through with Carl. Um. Go through, meaning to experience a difficult or unpleasant situation. Example, she's gone through a lot in order to achieve what she has. We will go through the mines. So that no parent has to go through what I've known. Anything you go through, we go through together. I'm going through some things, clearly. <laughs> Larry, I'm not going to pretend that I understand what you go through, what the spiritual thing is to you. I never have. I'm sorry you're going through this. Can't go through that again. <laughs> Wait, does he eat chalk? <laughs> Just because I don't want her to go through what I went through with Carl. Um. All of a sudden, and turn out. All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. <laughs> and it turns out it's my mother. <laughs> all of a sudden, meaning quickly and without warning. Example, it seemed to happen all of a sudden. I felt dizzy and I just collapsed. Three, two, one. All of a sudden, I'm nervous. Now all of a sudden I feel so funny. You can't all of a sudden be my best friend just because you had a bad day. All of a sudden I feel, I feel just super alive, you know? I mean, sometimes things just don't make sense and <laughs> all of a sudden I get scared. So I waited and it wasn't easy. But then all of a sudden I smelled something really good. And when I opened the door, he did not speak for a year, and then all of a sudden, he, he started talking. Turn out, meaning to happen in a particular way or to have a particular result, especially an unexpected one. Example, sometimes things don't turn out the way we think they're going to. Three, two, one. I don't turn out to be quite good at it. Good. It turns out that the average security guard in America earns $14 an hour. It turns out that the woman that I've been massaging is Albert's ex-wife. Phone records came back. It turns out that the afternoon before the murder, Nightingale made one significant phone call, 25-minute one to Elaine. We moved to Missouri to save Maureen, but as it turns out, we couldn't. And they turned out to be the most delightful people you will ever meet in your life. Every time I thought I'd found someone, they'd turn out to disappoint me. <laughs> All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. And it turns out it's my mother. To hell with. I'll be fine, all right? Really, everyone, I hope she'll be very happy. No, you don't. No, I don't. To hell with her, she left me. To hell with, meaning to express anger or dislike and to say that you no longer care about somebody or something. Example, to hell with grades and qualifications. To hell with her. Okay, okay. What about her? Oh, the hell with her. Well, to hell with that. Well, to hell with that. To hell with them. To hell with him, man. We got you. I thought you might want to feel part of it again, but... To hell with you both. To hell with Brett. To hell with this entire school. <laughs> I'll be fine, all right? Really, everyone. I hope she'll be very happy. No, you don't. No, I don't. To hell with her. She left me. Freak out, and it hit me. I realized that I was more turned on by this gravy bolt than by Barry. And then I got really freaked out, and that's when it hit me. How much Barry looks like Mr. Potato Head. Freak out, meaning to become suddenly emotional, often excited or angry. Example, he freaked out when he heard he got the job. Three, two, one. It's really freaking me out. That freaks me out. So I freaked out. And I'm sorry. I probably freaked you out. And I'm just freaking out! Okay, don't freak out. You don't have to. You know why? Immediately freaked out and called her partner in crime. I don't know. He kind of just freaked out and left. It hit me. Meaning, if an idea or thought hits you, you suddenly think of it. Example, that's when it hit me that my life would never be the same again. Three, two, one. All of a sudden it hit me. I realized what the problem is. And that's, that's when it hit me. And then it hit me. Being some Broadway star really isn't my dream. 
30 seconds ago, I was lost, just in a total fog, and then it hit me like a bolt of lightning. It suddenly hit me just how wrong this was. He had my personality, my laugh, my appetite. Laugh? And that's when it hit me. I felt so ashamed that it had taken me this long. I was captivated, entranced. It hit me like a thunderbolt. <laughs> I realized that I was more turned on by this gravy boat than by Barry. And then I got really freaked out. And that's when it hit me. How much Barry looks like Mr. Potato Head. Drift apart. So anyway, I just didn't know where to go. And I know that you and I have kind of drifted apart. But you're the only person I knew who lived here in the city. Drift apart, meaning to gradually lose interest in or affection for each other. Example, we'd started to drift apart and eventually split. We just drifted apart. I guess they drifted apart from there. We didn't just drift apart, Mary, and I withdrew. Mary congratulated me, but we had already begun to drift apart. And I am sure that you and I would drift apart. We did drift apart after Allison went missing. And then when my mom got sick, I went up to Oregon to help my dad with the winery, and we just kind of drifted apart. <laughs> So anyway, I just didn't know where to go, and I know that you and I have kind of drifted apart, but you're the only person I knew who lived here in the city. I'm all better. La la la, something with string. I'm all better now. I helped. I'm all better, meaning fully healed, fixed, or cured. Example, that horrible cold finally passed, so I'm all better now. I'm all better now. He's all better now. I'm glad we're all better now. I'm fine. I'm all better. Seriously. No. No, no. He's all better. I'm still in London. Yes, I'm all better now. We might look like we're all better, but if you look close, we're covered in concealer. <laughs> something with string. I'm all better now. <laughs> I helped For the best Okay, look, this is probably for the best, you know Independence, taking control of your life For the best, meaning to have a good result Though it does not seem good at first Example, the cast didn't attempt a Spanish accent Which was definitely for the best Three, two, one It's for the best This is for the best Thank you Probably for the best. So this is for the best. What do you think? Pray for the best, prepare for the worst. I know how a mother feels about her son and how protective she can be. But this is for the best. It is for the best you will see, my dear. The world is a cruel place for a child who bears a stigma. <laughs> okay, look, this is probably for the best, you know? Independence, taking control of your life. Hit on. And hey, you need anything, you can always come to Joey. Me and Chandler live right across the hall, and he's away a lot. Joey, stop hitting on her. It's her wedding day. Hit on, meaning to show someone in a direct way that you're attracted to him or her. Example, she was hitting on me, and I was surprised and flattered. Three, two, one. So go hit on her. You didn't hit on her. She hit on you. Brody walked into the bar, and I totally tried to hit on him. I swear to you on my life, I am not and will never hit on you, ever. Unless you're worried somebody's hitting on her. You are completely delusional. She didn't even hit on you in there. Go to UCW, and you sit in the lecture hall with all these grad students, and what, do they hit on you? <laughs> and hey, you need anything, you can always come to Joey. Me and Chandler live right across the hall. And he's away a lot. <laughs> Joey, stop hitting on her. It's her wedding day. Head for. So, Rachel, what are, you, uh, what are you up to tonight? Well, I was kind of supposed to be headed for Aruba on my honeymoon, so nothing. <laughs> Head for, meaning to travel towards some destination. Example, after that tiring day of sightseeing, I couldn't wait to head for home. Three, two, one. Headed for home. 
Well, ain't no better than to head for the cafeteria. He's headed for the garage. Lock down the bridge. But they've clearly been instructed to head for the airport immediately after the bird strike. You know, I expect you to be heading for the hells by now. If someone were to tell you this ship was headed for Singapore, what would you say? And that's where the bandits are headed for their final encounter. So, Rachel, what are, you, uh, what are you up to tonight? Well, I was kind of supposed to be headed for Aruba on my honeymoon, so nothing. <laughs> Come over and put together. Anyway, if you, if you don't feel like being alone tonight, uh, Joey and Chandler are coming over to help me put together my, my new furniture. Yes, and we're very excited about it. <laughs> Come over, meaning to go to someone else's house. Example, our neighbors came over last night and we had a good chat. You better be coming over here to kiss me. I am. Thank you very much for coming over here tonight. Could have been born in Spain, trained in Germany, come over here to work. I appreciate you coming over here to tell me that, Bill. I do apologize for not coming over to say goodbye. Have no man come over me. Why shall I always keep below stairs? When are you coming over and make my son here again? Put together, meaning to assemble something. Example, the factories no longer relied upon a mechanic to put together looms within the plant. So now we can start to actually put together a picture of what really happened. So, I have put together a little kit for everybody. That girl put together a better window display than I've seen here for 10 years. You're a police officer and you seem so straight and put together without any problems. They never said so, but it doesn't take much to put it together. From the bits and pieces I've put together, you know from what you told me about your family, your mother and your dad, you might not know who he is, but he changed your life more than Michael Jordan, the iPod, and YouTube put together. <laughs> anyway, if you, if you don't feel like being alone tonight, uh, Joey and Chandler are coming over to help me put together my, my new furniture. Yes, and we're very excited about it. Catch on. Oh, my God. I know, I know I'm such an idiot. I guess I should have caught on when you started going to the dentist four and five times a week. I mean, how clean can teeth get? Catch on, meaning to understand or figure something out. Example, he doesn't take hints very easily, but he'll catch on eventually. Three, two, one. You catch on real quick. I told you, I catch on quick. You catch on quick. You really love her, don't you? You're just beginning to catch on to that? Suddenly, our crazy flavors caught on, and the whole thing just took off. Something, something he can't catch on to. I'm catching on, I'm catching on. Oh my god! I know, I know, I'm such an idiot. I guess I should have caught on when you started going to the dentist four and five times a week. I mean, how clean can teeth get? Get through and go for... My brother's going through that right now. He's, he's such a mess. How did you get through it? Well, you might try accidentally breaking something valuable of hers. Say her... Leg? Oh, that's one way of going through it. Yeah. Me, I, I went for the watch. You actually broke her watch? Mm. Get through, meaning to survive something. Example, it is hard to see how people will get through the winter. Three, two, one. You want to get through this? Hey, you're going to get through this together. We'll get through this together. Abby and I, we'll get through this together. We're going to get through this legal bullshit and garbage they're throwing at us. Get some food in your system and we'll get through this together. Go for, meaning to choose something. Example, people tried to persuade him to go for a more gradual reform program. Three, two, one. Go for gold! <laughs> go for Go for the lobster! George! <laughs> go for Darnell! I always go for reliability. When everything crashed and burned, I went for a walk. I'd like to go for a swim before we head back. I left Kit in the parlor and went for a stroll outside the house. <laughs> My brother's going through that right now. He's, he's such a mess. How did you get through it? Well, you might try accidentally breaking something valuable of hers. Say her... Leg? Oh, <laughs> that's one way of going through it. Yeah. Me, I, I went for the watch. You actually broke her watch? Mm. Cut off. But it isn't. It isn't. It's about me. And I just... <sighs> Hi, 
sewing machine, cut me off again. Anyway. <laughs> cut off, meaning if you get cut off when you are on the phone, the line is suddenly disconnected and you can no longer speak to the other person. Example, I'm going to cut you off now because we've got lots of callers waiting. I promise I won't cut you off, Kent. Well, he cut me off. They didn't cut you off. Come on, Iz. Don't cut me off like this. Hey, you can't just cut me off like that. Stop all the clocks. Cut off the telephone. Prevent the dog from barking with a juicy bone. All right, cut him off. Leave him on. But it isn't. It isn't. It's about me. And I just... machine cut me off again anyway <laughs> walk out on and spell something out well, ever since she walked out on me I... what 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 you, you want to spell it out with noodles <laughs> no it's 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 more of a fifth date kind of revelation oh so there's gonna be a fifth date isn't there yeah yeah i i think there is walk out on, meaning to abandon or leave someone. Example, the husband walked out on his wife and kids after 20 years of marriage. Three, two, one. Well, that was before you walked out on me. It's my responsibility. I can't just walk out on them. Though maybe you could tell that from the first moment I walked out on stage. Like marrying men that walk out on them. What are you talking about, walk out on? You walk out on them. We can stop right now and you can walk out on us forever. So then if you spot me coming around that corner, you're just going to walk out on this woman? Spell something out, meaning to explain something in a very clear way with details. Example, what do you mean you don't understand? Do I have to spell it out for you? Three, two, one. I spell everything out. You want me to spell it out for you? Let me spell it out for you. You want me to spell it out for you? I don't want to spell it out. I think it's right for you to spell it out. Oh, so let me spell it out for you. And spell it out for me this time. Well, ever since she walked out on me, I... What? What, what? You, you want to spell it out with noodles? No, it's, 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 it's more of a fifth date kind of revelation. Oh, so there's going to be a fifth date? Isn't there? Yeah, yeah, I, I think there is. Ever since? Well, er, er, ever since she left me, um, well, I, haven't, I haven't been able to uh, perform sexually. <laughs> ever since, meaning continuously since the time mentioned. Example, we met at a party in 2005 and we've been together ever since. Yeah, we've been close ever since. Uh, ever since I graduated high school. Especially because ever since I blacked out in the cafeteria, it's been getting worse. Ever since I was five years old, the school used to take us every year to Jerusalem and Bethlehem. She said something about Marilla having been betrothed once many years ago, but because of a quarrel, she never married. And she's had to live with her brother ever since. Ever since then, internal affairs have been waiting to catch them in the act. He said some things, Bridie. She'd been following me around ever since I got here. Well, er, er, ever since she left me, um, I, hadn't, I haven't been able to uh, perform sexually. <laughs> Get it together. You know, here's the thing. Even if I could get it together enough to, you know, to, to ask a woman out, who am I going to ask? Get it together, meaning to make a decision or take positive action in your life. Example, Blake has really got it together since I last saw him. He has started a new job and lost a lot of weight. Three, two, one. Get it together, Kelly. <clears throat> oh, get it together, Africa. Get it together, bro. So get it together. What I need is for you to focus, get it together, and point me to the nearest liquor store. Okay? In the streets. And if you're gonna sit back and watch it happen, sister, you better get it together and wake up. You listen. 
You get it together and you do something for your own people. You know, here's the thing. Even if I could get it together enough to, you know, to, to ask a woman out, who am I going to ask? On a roll. Isn't this amazing? I mean, I have never made coffee before in my entire life. That is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Why you're on a roll if you feel like you got to make like a Western omelet or something? <laughs> Although, actually, I'm really not that hungry this <laughs> morning. On a roll, meaning be experiencing a period of success at what you are doing. Example, they've won nine games in a row, so they're obviously on a roll. Three, two, one. I'm on a roll here. Sorry, boy. I'm on a roll. <laughs> you want to just uh, uh, wait your turn. I'm on a roll here. Ooh, take that, you. He's on a roll. Really? Really? You got a plan? Don't make me wait. You're on a roll. Oh, uh, now that we got this, though. Ronnie boy, I'm telling you, we're on a roll, baby. I got to give you credit for being more proactive and starting to meet women. Who knows, maybe you are on a roll here or something. But Isn't this amazing? I mean, I have never made coffee before in my entire life. That is amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> Why you're on a roll if you feel like you got to make like a Western omelet or something? <laughs> Although, actually, I'm really not that hungry this <laughs> morning. Take credit. You know, Paul? Paul the wine guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know Paul. You mean you know Paul like I know Paul? Are you kidding? I take credit for Paul. You know, before me, there was no snap in his turtle for two years. Take credit, meaning to claim responsibility for something that you did not do or that you did not do alone. Example, the boss took credit for all of the team's hard work. Three, two, one. I always take credit for it. Fred, I can't believe you took credit for my plan again. Well, I'd love to take credit for that, but Erica's adopted. As much as I'd like to take credit for this, I can't. You're shocked because I took credit for your idea. You can't expect just to steal my research and have me sit back and watch you take credit for it. I wish I could take credit for it, but that was all Sarah. You know, Paul? Paul the wine guy? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know Paul. You mean you know Paul like I know Paul? Are you kidding? I take credit for Paul. You know, before me, there was no snap in his turtle for two years. Live off. They're my new, I don't need a job, I don't need my parents, I've got great boots boots. <laughs> How'd you pay for them? A uh, credit card. Mm -hmm. And who pays for that? Um, my father. <laughs> Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Live off, meaning to use someone or something to provide the money or food that you need to live. Example, all his life he had lived off his father. Three, two, one. We'll live off the land. <laughs> he lives off my money. No. When you live off the land and you're honest, things fall into place. They chopped down trees and wove their own cloth and lived off of berries and squirrel meat. Your father's been living off the charity of our family for quite some time. Welcome to Puffs, live off Broadway, and welcome to a certain school of magic and magic. We work the land, we live off of it, but we forget what it means. They're my new, I don't need a job, I don't need my parents, I've got great boots boots. <laughs> How'd you pay for them? A uh, credit card. Mm -hmm. And who pays for that? Um, my father. <laughs> Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. Be on your own. Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Give her a break. It's hard being on your own for the first time. Thank you. You're welcome. 
be on your own, meaning to be independent and self-reliant. Example, after graduating from college, I moved to a new city to start my dream job. I was excited to be on my own and start this new chapter in my life. Three, two, one. You must learn to be on your own. Aren't you tired of being on your own? If you're worried about being on your own, don't be. After that, you're gonna be on your own, got it? It's hard being on your own. Soon you'll be on your own, not needing anyone's help. I always thought if I saw you again, it would be in this park. And you would be on your own. Come on, you can't live off your parents your whole life. I know that. That's why I was getting married. <laughs> Give her a break. It's hard being on your own for the first time. Thank you. You're welcome. End up. I remember when I first came to this city, I was 14. My mom had just killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was like cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. <laughs> and then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> End up, meaning to reach some conclusion, state, or situation due to a particular course of action. Example, the deals were popular at the time, but many ended up losing money. Three, two, one. You end up here? You end up here. I don't want to end up packed to pieces in a dumpster somewhere. To be honest, the, the words uh, documentary and profit don't usually end up in the same sentence. If we end up in the Florida Supreme Court, we're dead. And so... When the clinic lost its funding, I ended up on the street. If we continue like this, the three of us are going to end up on the nightly news. But what do you do if both of you are lost and you both end up in the same place, waiting? I remember when I first came to this city. I was 14. My mom had just killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was like cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. <laughs> and then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video.